Hey guys, it's Ryan Robinson from ryrob.com and in this video, we're gonna talk about how to set up your blog. So we're gonna register your domain name, we're going to choose the hosting plan that is the most affordable, um, the best option for just getting your blog off the ground, right? So the goal here is to get your blog launched in the next five minutes. So if you are on this page, you're on our blog mechanics page, and you've gotten here from my free course, how to build a blog in seven days. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're going to click on this yellow button here that says register my domain. And what this button is, is it's a pre-coded link. It's gonna give you 65% discount on registering your domain and setting up your hosting plan through Bluehost. So let's click on this button and we'll go over to Bluehost's website. And what you'll see here is that the price per month for hosting is dropped down to two. 95 and this is seriously the best deal that I've seen online for all of the awesome reliability features speed features and protection that Bluehost provides so all in all this is going to be your best bang for your buck when you're just getting started with your blog and later on down the line when you have a lot more traffic a lot more readers um, then you can look at more complicated um, more expensive hosting but for now we're going to click on the get started now button and so when we click on that, it's gonna take you to your select your plan page. And I know this can look a little bit complicated, um, but my advice to you is to just select the basic. This is the cheapest plan. Um, it's gonna be the most limited, but you don't really need all these different bells and whistles, um, complicated features, different you know, domain privacy, spam experts, site backup. Um, you're not gonna need that stuff. And when, when we get to the next video, I'm gonna show you how to install free and you know, occasionally the very inexpensive WordPress plugin that's going to do much of these other little things for you. So again, save yourself the money now, choose the 295 per month option. So we'll select that. And then we're gonna to get to this page where you need to register your domain name. So by this point, um, you know, we've already covered uh, the niche that you want your blog to be about. Um, we've talked about who your ideal reader is. Um, and ideally you've sort of spoken with some of these people. You've come up with the idea um, that you want to use for your domain name. So for our purposes here in this video, um, I'm just gonna grab a domain name, a new one that I've been wanting to use. So we're gonna do side project ideas, and then we'll use just the .com and again, don't make a big fuss if your .com isn't available. Um, personally, I don't think it's a big deal if you have to choose a .co. Um, I would go with a .co though as kind of my backup option. A lot of these other ones don't look as reliable, um, but any .com or .co is gonna be a good move for you. And so once you've got your domain, click the next button. And that's gonna bring us over to your creation of the account. So this is where you're gonna enter your information. If you use Google products, if you use Gmail, Google Calendar, you can click this little sign in with Google and it's gonna autofill everything for you. Um, but I use the browser Chrome. So as soon as I start typing, <laughs> it's going to autofill all of my information in here. So uh, you wanna make sure that you've got your phone number in too. Um, occasionally they'll have to call you if there's an issue with your hosting plan but for all intents and purposes we want to choose package information now that is going to be right for you and you'll see this total here is much higher than you originally thought it was going to be so let's trim some of the fat from this deal um, bluehost wants to add in different upsells that they know some people need and so first and foremost um, you'll see that this is at set at a 36 month contract um, so let's drop that down to 12 months there's no need to book that far out in advance yet. Um, you know, things can change, right? So keeping everything as affordable as you possibly can, lower commitments are always going to be a win. So you notice the hosting price drop down significantly when you go to the 12 month price. Set up the free primary domain registration fee. Let's encrypt SSL. This is also important. Um, this is what gives you the secure HTTPS on your blog. And this is very, very important to have. Um, Google and different search engines are rewarding sites that have this secure certificate and sites that don't have it get dinged. Domain privacy protection. I'm gonna uncheck this. Um, this isn't something that you need. Um, it's something that you could later on down the road decide that you wanna have, but all it does is essentially um, make your 
name, your contact information, private and hidden um, in, in the registration records online. But personally, it doesn't bother me to have my email address publicly out there. So I'm going to turn it off. You can make your decision. Um, site lock security find. Uh, that's another feature that I personally don't believe you need right now. You can change your mind later, but for our purposes here, I'm going to uncheck that. Same thing with Code Guard Basic. Um, this is just kind of a, an upsell feature that is useful to some people. If you're a developer, you may care more about that. But again, we're trying to keep our costs as low as possible. So I'm gonna uncheck this too. And then for SEO tools, we're also gonna skip that. Don't check this because I'm gonna show you a bunch of free and cheap WordPress plugins that are going to do much of these SEO features for you. So we'll get your blog nice and SEO friendly. Um, and then you'll see the total. We dropped all the way back down to $59.40. So that's a lot lower than, than they originally would have had you go through with. So again, 12 month hosting package. This includes your domain registration with it. You'll go ahead and enter your payment information right here. You'll um, check this box that you've agreed to Bluehost terms and conditions, and then you'll hit the submit button. 